Blood might be thicker than water, but it's swimming that binds a former New Zealand Olympic backstroker and her granddaughter, Nairi Galloway, who's 92 and lives in a Nelson rest home, is New Zealand's oldest living Olympian. 70 years after she swam backstroke at the London Olympics, her granddaughter, Gina Galloway, is about to compete in the same event at the Youth Olympics in Buenos Aires. The pair caught up in Nelson today ahead of Gina's departure for Argentina and our Nelson reporter Tracy Neal was there to catch the moment. New Zealand, one of the smaller teams who received specially warm applause. It might have been seven decades ago, but Nairi Galloway's memories come flooding back when she watches her granddaughter Gina backstroking her way through a pool. A sort of um, a longing, really, in, inside me. I, I look at Gina swimming and, and think, golly, the strokes changed a bit. I don't think I had killer instinct, really. Nairi might feel she lacked the killer instinct, but she's an inspiration to Gina. For me, it's just that passion for swimming, the love of it, I think. Get diving into that water, you know, the thrill of it, the thrill of racing and competing. I'm definitely a competitive person. I love the challenge of trying to better myself, and I think seeing Nana, you know, going to the Olympics has definitely inspired me. Nairi was the only female athlete in the seven-strong New Zealand team at the 1948 Olympics. It was soon after the end of World War II, and London still wore fresh scars. Training didn't stop on the six-week journey by sea from New Zealand. The ship's carpenter built Nairi an oblong box, lined it with canvas and filled it with seawater each day so she could lie on her back and practice her kick. Well, I suppose it minimally, very minimally, it did help. But uh, you can imagine, well, you can imagine just <laughs> lying in the, in the tub thing, kicking it. It's very difficult. She had to wear a borrowed swimsuit at the Empire Pool in Wembley. It had belonged to a boy and it was a bit short, short around the bust area. <laughs> well, silk suits were unavailable because of the war, really. So that was all I had. Nairi finished second in her Olympic 100 metre backstroke heat, seventh in her semi-final and 11th overall. But she didn't come home empty-handed. In the Continental Relay Gala held straight after the Olympic swim meet, her Australasian team won bronze in the 4x100 metre freestyle relay. So is Gina's love of backstroke in her genes? I don't know. I think I naturally just really enjoyed backstroke. It was the stroke I was doing the best in. And coincidentally enough, my, my brother is also getting quite good at backstroke. Gina won bronze at last year's Commonwealth Youth Games and will compete in backstroke and butterfly events at next month's Youth Olympics. The 17-year-old student at Auckland's Diocesan School for Girls says her success is the result of a punishing training routine and the support of her teammates. Nana Nairi keeps up with her progress via her iPad. Thanks to technology we have today, she's able to live stream into the races yes. I'm doing and Dad always sends her the link so she can watch and yes. it's always cool knowing that she's watching from Nelson. Nairi says the only piece of advice she'd offer her budding Olympian granddaughter is to keep cool and calm. I don't have to ever tell you to keep focused, she's got that in spades. But um, to think of the moment, but to think of the very moment that what you're doing is what you've got to do best. And Gina is as proud to carry on the family tradition as she might one day be to stand on the Olympic dais. I think it's a really proud moment to continue the Galloway, or Lane, <laughs> but Galloway name, um, in swimming. It's always going to be really proud and special in the family year. The Youth Olympic Games run from October the 6th to the 18th. In Nelson for Checkpoint, Tracy Neal.